Hi there everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to my channel. As some of you may know, I've been having some problems with my new armour. The fold has been popping out of the bottom of the breastplate. This is something that was not a problem with my previous armour because they weren't separate. But in this English style where they are, it's causing some issues. Unfortunately, there are no examples of English armour surviving. So we've got no idea how they actually kept the two halves together. In this instance, we've gone for a tight fit of the fold inside the bottom of the placard. Um, and that is to give some movement and rotation in the top half. This wasn't a problem back when it was being made at Art of Steel because they had a plaster cast of my body. Um, I am not a plaster cast and I am somewhat squidgier. And so that allows the fold to get smaller than the lower circumference of the breastplate. I want to be clear that I really, really like this whole armor and I'm really impressed by Art of Steel's work. Um, this is not having a go at them because not only did they produce something incredible um, of a style that they had not worked in before, they've also been um, talking, we've been chatting uh, about how we can solve it. And it's actually a really simple fix. So I'm here with John, hello, who's my you? armor friend, hey, and with Matt Easton, and we're in John's back garden, and we're sorting out how to fix the fold popping problem. Um, so the problem is that problem this is, is getting smaller, right? So than what the lower you, part. What, what's happening is, of this. if you can see, this was flush with that plate when it was on. Yeah. Right. So. It was kind of like this, right? Yeah. We'll see mine the buckle. It was sitting like that, which would give you too much. It would make it too slim and then obviously drop out. So my solution would probably be to bring it flush with this. So your fold is flush the whole way down. Yeah. Along there. And then maybe add a pin here. What John's talking about is a pin to hold the fold at a certain size. Augusto shared this example of a pin fold, a pinned fold from Germany. You can just about make out where it's pinned on the outside of the breastplate, but this inside shot is better. So you can see you've got a pin that's going through a staple that holds the fold and the breastplate together. Now this would allow for the modularity of the system, so it would allow me to wear my breastplate separately from my fold, which is part of what I want to do. But it doesn't give any rotational movement, which I think is another important part of this. We could add a turning pin like what we've got on the greaves, but as all we're trying to do is stop it from getting smaller, this isn't really necessary. A turning pin stops any movement whatsoever, and it would probably be quite nice to be able to have it bigger if the need arises. The cuirass itself already has one of these pins. It's kind of a slot pin. And as you can see, the head of it is wider like a rivet to stop it from coming out quite so easily. And all this does is it stops the breastplate from getting too small. All we need to do is add one of these to the full so it can't drop out the bottom. So it's taken a long time, but I've done it. I've added the stop rivet into the fold. So now it can't get smaller than a certain size. Let me show you. So here we go. Here's the rivet and here is the slot. So it can't get any smaller than that. John and I drew lines that you can just about make out. There's still a line there. We'll get rid of that. In the future with a bit of rubbing alcohol but we drew lines on it quite a few times to make sure that that was the right size that if it got to that size then it couldn't fall out of the bottom so this will stop it from getting any smaller and then the size of the breastplate will stop it from getting any bigger now we've got this lovely little scoop out here which i'd love to say is an intentional design um, but we we had a problem 
um, and John warned me about this, so I got impatient, and basically I was trying to drill through this back piece, and it was really, really tough to drill. It took a really long time, um, and it ended up getting hot because I wasn't taking enough breaks. And with this type of steel, if it gets too hot, then it starts getting brittle. And I noticed a crack started coming here towards where I was drilling. So I had to very quickly stop, cut out the crack, and um, then kind of scoop it out with a grinder so that there's no hard edges, uh, no right angles or or anything like that. We want curves because right angles um, give points of failure. So it's a I'm <laughs> I'm sad about it, but and it it doesn't show when it's like this. So I considered not actually showing you, but um, with my scabbard video, a lot of people said that they really appreciated um, seeing the mistakes as well and. Um, yeah, so here it is. This was a mistake. Uh, I think the drill bit that I used was too big, um, which caused more friction and then caused more heat, and I wasn't giving it enough time in between um, each each time drilling. So, yeah. Anyway, here it is. This tiny little rivet is all that the design needs to keep the uh, fold up. This steel was actually so tough that we ended up breaking a lot of drill bits on it and I ended up having to go out and get some high quality ones to finish the job. These sorts of projects would not be possible without my Patreon community and particularly my nightly Patreons who get a shout out in my videos. So thank you to Carrie, to Conrad, to Nightly Lady, to Robert, to Sirloin de Boeuf, to Seth and to Wheeloo. Thank you guys and thank you to all of my patrons. So I'm just showing you one side or another uh, what it looks like on. Uh, I should have really got a video of that as well. As you can see, the cuirass now works. I can wear it without it falling out. I haven't put it all on yet. I'm going to do that again. And you'll notice as well that I have um, worked on my male standard as well. And you can expect a video about the changes that I've made to my standard and why I've made those changes um, in a future video. And also a more in-depth look at the entire armour itself. In June it's going to get its first proper run out at the reenactment of the Battle of Barnet, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like uh, wearing it for a long period of time, um, in doing kind of what it was designed for. Um, running around and hitting people with swords so there's still a few jobs to do before then um i've got a whiteboard uh in my shed with a list of all the things that i'm up to um trying to uh, prioritize which ones need to be done first and things like that if you want more regular updates on what i'm up to and if you want to support the channel then you can do that over on patreon there is a link in the description down below thank you so much to all of my patrons and thank you especially to my night level patrons um, who get a shout out in my videos. Well that's it for now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and very soon you'll be seeing a video with the entire harness on um, and we'll see what it all looks like together. Thank you guys. Bye bye.